my name's Jennifer. I'm a medical scientist here at the Molecular Pathology Department at the Peter Mac Cancer Hospital. Um, I'm going to take you on a little tour of our labs here and talk about some of the testing that we do for cancer patients. So this first area of the lab space that we have here is dedicated to what we call sample processing. So it's the first port of entry of where cancer patient samples come into the lab. So typically we're dealing with um, tumour biopsies which come to us as tissue samples, a lot of bone marrow samples and um, blood samples as well as a few other sample types like occasionally hair, saliva, um, nail clippings, we accept all sorts of sample types. I'm currently working on germline samples and I'm basically giving, um, triaging them and yeah. giving them a correct lab number, uh, like a DNA number, and these samples are going to get extracted later on the machines. Running on this machine at the moment will be anywhere between uh, three and 400 patient samples, all being uh, sequenced for up to 150 to 200 genes. All those patients might have different cancer types from uh, leukemias to hereditary cancer conditions to solid tumors. One of the assays that we run here that is incredibly treatment focused is um, patients with uh, most commonly ovarian and prostate cancer where we are looking for um, variants in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes to inform whether they'll be uh, responsive to a certain type of therapy called PARP inhibitors. So at the moment I'm just running a quality check real-time PCR on the patient samples that'll be further down the run um, tested for the BRCA. Mm -hmm. um, so at the moment this is just checking for the quality of the DNA. So we want to make sure that it's not too fragmented and that there's enough um, quantity there for them to do the testing later on. We've got a few of our research team who work within our lab who are working on some of the latest technology for acute myeloid leukemia patients. Um, so it's basically an assay that we're working on developing to um, improve the sensitivity around monitoring patients with known leukemia but as a way of tracking what we call their residual disease um, and again that informs what sort of treatment they might get. I'm Cameron Snell, I'm an anatomical pathologist at Peter Mac and my role is to diagnose cancers and we also help to decide how patients with cancer are treated. We work in conjunction with all the other medical specialists and I'll have very frequent multidisciplinary meetings where we discuss the results of our findings and work out a treatment plan for each patient based on their individual tumour characteristics uh, and that really is the basis for personalised cancer care. So here in the anatomical pathology laboratory we have uh, a whole suite of immunohistochemistry machines that are used to determine whether a particular patient's tumour will respond to a particular treatment. And in order to get the tissue onto a slide, we use a microtome that will cut uh, a waxed embedded tissue very thinly. It's actually at four thousandths of a millimetre in thickness. And float that onto water so it can be picked up on a slide. Hello, my name's Dr. Neil Kame and I'm a hematopathologist. We'll look under the microscope and try to work out if somebody has a hematological condition like leukaemia or lymphoma. We get a small sample of bone marrow, which is in liquid form, and stain the cells with various fluorescent tags. And the cells pass through a laser single file. We're able to um, measure the fluorescence of each and every cell, they run at um, thousands of cells per second, and all the data is then collected and then translated into dot plots, as you can see here. 